There is a problem on YouTube where some of the worst game projects in the industry get the majority of the coverage just because people love drama. But ironically, even though there's a lot of bad projects out there, there's also a lot of really good projects made by developers that are pretty normal people that don't get the attention that I really think that they deserve. And over the next couple of weeks, especially because I'm really burned out covering games made by particularly crazy developers, I would like to start shining a light on some of those projects that people have not been talking about that I actually think are really good. And the first project that I would really like to talk about that I haven't talked about for a while is this one. This is a game called Total Conflict Resistance, and it goes hard. Currently sitting at very positive reviews, this game is very similar to Mountain Blade, where you have an entire meta where you are managing an empire, but instead of having horses and bows and arrows, you have AK-47s and main battle tanks. And I have to say, Despite the premise, although I'm sure there's a lot of people that play this game only for the Mountain Blade slash Civilization 3-esque gameplay, I personally play this game because the first-person shooter mechanics and the cinematic quality of the battles are, I would say, nearly unmatched in most other games in the industry today. And this game is made in Unreal Engine, and I have to say, if there was a game that I would want my game to look like when it is done, it's absolutely this. It, this is one of the most chaotic, epic, immersive experiences that you can have when it comes to first-person tactical shooters. Now, there are a couple of things about this game which might be the reason it's off most people's radar. First off, this is a single player only game, so there's no multiplayer here. Additionally, there's no mod support either, which is kind of a shame because if there was ever a game that really could use mod support, it's absolutely this one. And the coolest thing about this game isn't just the fact that you can manage all of your different squad members and switch from unit to unit seamlessly, just, you know, like games such as Ravenfield, but it also has vehicles, tanks, artillery, and you can control them all. So yes, War Thunder style, you can actually commandeer any of these vehicles on the battlefield. Not only can you play as an infantryman, not only can you switch between all of your soldiers on the fly, because keep in mind, this is a strategy game more than it is a first person shooter, but you can directly control all of these vehicles yourself, which is absolutely amazing. In fact, I would actually go as far to say that this game is more like Men of War than it is like a game such as Squad. The only difference is, unlike a real-time strategy game like Men of War, this game looks straight up like a first-person shooter. Like, if you told me that this was, I don't know, Squad 2, I would absolutely believe you 100%. And today, I just want to give you some uncut gameplay of this project, just so you can kind of get an idea of the type of game that it is. Again, it's not just a first-person shooter, it's more like Mountain Blade. I would actually say this is tactical modern warfare Mountain Blade in a nutshell, but there's a lot of really cool things that this game does that I don't see many other projects doing, not just from the strategic real-time strategy layer, but I would also say from a first-person shooter layer. So I'm gonna give myself a lot of units and we're going to start this campaign by slugging it out with whoever my first adversary happens to be, which I guess is going to be this these guys right here. So to start this off, we're just going to take one of our guys, this 47th Battalion. Oh wow, yeah, there's a lot going on here. And we're just going to, um, we're going to curb stomp these rebels. So 
let's um show these rebels why they shouldn't mess with democracy. All right, so we are now in game. As you can see, I've got my cool. I, I don't know why there's a bunch of games that have this firearm all of a sudden, but this is kind of like that AR that has the P90 magazine on the front. I need to do I need to do a video about this firearm because for some reason everybody is is putting this in their games all of a sudden. But I can open up this this RTS style screen and I can go through here and I can look at my forces and I can also look at the objective, I can also control my forces. So for instance, I can say, hey, dismount guys. So all my infantry are gonna get out um, and we're going to go and look at the enemy who I'm assuming are probably gonna be hiding in these farmhouses. Oh no, here we go. Here is the enemy forces unbeknownst to us uh, that we're going to have to wipe out. Looks like they have a MTLB I mean, this is why, like, I feel like this game could be way more than what it is. I mean, in some ways, this game almost feels like Arma or something of that nature. It has the sandbox element to it, but you also have, you know, all of this AI and all of this functionality that I would expect from an Arma game just missing some of the sandbox editor elements that Arma has, including the mod support. I would love to see more mod support. So let's go ahead. We're going to take our guys... We're going to tell these guys to advance, because why not? Alright, so here's our forces advancing on the enemy. We're going to hunt down these rebel positions. And if we want to, we can take control of any of these units. Uh, so, if I want to go here, and I want to, say, select this squad, and then I can go to direct control, and I can take control over any of these soldiers. Let's see, here's a guy with an RPG. So there we go. So we've got this guy with an AT weapon. Or if we want, we can also take control of this tank. So let's actually do that. Hello, Mr. Tank. I would love to take control of you. Boom. And look at this. Battle's already kicking off, brother. Look at that, we got a, a, I almost said BTR, a Bradley, what's wrong with me? Over there, looks like there's some artillery going off. Oh, there we go, there they are. So, this is a game that's just really cool, that for some reason, not very many people, if anybody, talks about recently. And it has a lot of the things that I think a lot of other content creators say that they want in a game. But for some reason, a lot of these players who are asking for something like this are also ignoring projects like this one. This is a really good project, but in the last 30 days, it's only gotten 99 reviews. Come on, man, that's nothing we could boost that up way higher. And I feel like it does actually deserve it. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna start going through a lot of these projects that I think are really underappreciated. And if you guys know of any others besides this one, let me know down in the comments. I'm really burned out on covering a lot of studios that, in my opinion, really don't deserve the attention. And I want to, at least for the next while, start turning that attention towards the developers that do. So this project, I think, is absolutely a prime candidate for that. And if you guys have any other suggestions for other projects that you think are just really underappreciated, let me know down in the comments. Besides that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.